So this is the giant palace that I built in this video. This was more than 18,000 blocks to build. So yeah, just uh, stick around and see how I did it. Right, so I'm back in this survival world of Minecraft. This is how my world's looking at the minute. It's coming coming along quite nice. In the last video, we built all these biomes just here. Yeah, just this. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It took me a while to do. And again, just like I've been doing with most videos, I'll put the comments up on the screen now of the people who commented last video. So yeah, thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Now, in this video, I'm going to go for a more chilled out type of build. And that's because these big project type builds, they take me quite a while to do, so I can't really get them out very quick. Anyway, what I'm thinking about building is a massive, like, giant palace. But the first thing that I'm going to do is go and get some shulker boxes, because I'm going to need quite a lot for this. Right, so there we go. I managed to get 22 shulker shells. And if I turn this all into chests, that should give me 11. And there you go, 11 more shulker boxes. And I've also dyed them just there because it makes it look a little bit better. Anyway, all these shulker boxes are a little bit overkill. But I'll put up on screen now all the materials that it takes to actually build this thing. So, yeah, it's going to take a while. So let me get all the materials for it and then I'll be back. Right, so remember not long ago when I said I'm going a bit overkill with the shulker boxes. Anyway, all these shulker boxes are a little bit overkill. Yeah, I was I was not overkill at all. Every single one of these, oh my god, you have no idea. We've got all this wood in here. More of it. This, these are logs, by the way, stripped logs. All this stone brick. Walls, more stripped logs. So much sandstone stairs. All this deep slate and stone brick type of stuff. All this stone brick. More wood, sandstone, whatever. Honestly, it just, it just keeps going on. There's just so much stuff. I had no idea looking at that material list that it would be like this. I had to make this wood farm over here. And honestly, this, this is so complex. Look at that for a wood farm. Honestly, this, this is absolutely crazy. But I'm, I'm not complaining anyway because it managed to get me like all of this wood. <clears throat> I had both of these double chests were filled with birch logs after using that wood farm. It was great. But anyway, now I need to decide where I'm going to build it. Now I'm thinking up on top of this hill just here. If I clear out the trees on top of here, then it can be behind the castle and it's obviously going to be massive anyway. And you'll be able to see it over the castle. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So yeah, I'll now uh, quickly destroy all these trees. There we go, so that's an area cleared out and flattened. And I've also got some villager here as well. He's just going to take a nice little trip. But yeah, we've got this area here. We've got this nice long... Oh my god. 13 shulker boxes full of stuff. Oh, technically one isn't full. So 12 shulker boxes full of materials. The sandstone as well. Oh my god, I'm not even going to go into it. But yeah, I just think we'll just uh, start building it now. Right, so I've just marked out the area for it, and oh my god, that, honestly, this is so much bigger than what I thought it would be. Honestly, this is absolutely huge, and there's dog here as well. That reminds me, I haven't uh, got a dog yet in this world, so... I fed him seven bones and he didn't want it, hold on. Seven bones. Right, I've come back with 64, and of course it's just one more, isn't it? But yeah, if you comment again, I'll, uh, I'll call him something. Right, so progress update. So far I've built this and honestly you've got no idea how long this took. And it's just because literally every side, like this you can see, there's so much detail that's got put into like every single side of this. Like, look, just details. Ignore the sandstone, it will be covered. Look at that, just so much has gone into this one layer. And by the way, it goes way higher than this. But yeah, that's all I've got done for now. I guess I'll keep going and I'll give you some updates.
Right, so an update with the build. I've put the second half on the top there. And this right side, I've put the windows and stuff in, but not anywhere else. And I'm going to have to do that on all the other sides. Honestly, it's going to take forever. I'm not even halfway through this yet. Yeah, I think instead of like doing, doing all these updates and stuff, I'm just going to come back when it's completely finished. Yeah, I've been doing this now for a good few hours. And I've only just got to this point. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated. Or I'll see you when I've finished it. So there we go look it's finally done this took a lot longer than what i expected to finish honestly the material list was crazy not just that it was every single windowsill and all these details and all these stones and all sorts see in the stone brick there's so much upside down stairs and then walls and then slabs and honestly there's, there's so much that just made it such a long project so anyway yeah you can see it's done it's uh it's massive and the inside just looks like this at the minute and that's because i'm going to be turning this to a storage area but i'll show you what it looks like from all around so that's what it looks like from the front the side just kind of looks like that that's the back of it just there and i terraformed all this land i mean it it, it doesn't it doesn't really look that natural it kind of looks a bit all over the place you can definitely tell what's real and what isn't and yeah that's what it looks like from the other side but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It took a while, but it looks it looks good. Also, in the last video, I got a comment to call the camel James. So there you go. The uh, the camel is now is now called James. Now I think the first thing that I need to do is obviously cover this whole area here, so we have a uh, have a roof on this place. Right there we go. Now I've got a roof on this thing. I think now I'm going to start putting in the beams. So I'm thinking just do it with the normal birch stripped logs because that's what the thing's made out of itself. There we go, so now all the wooden beams placed in there, I need to kind of, just from the top, bring it all the way across to the end on every single one. Also, I've got no idea why, but I had a situation with this creeper. You can see here on this video clip, I was lighting up this room by placing torches down, and as I was walking, I came through the door, I shut it behind me, and then for some reason the creeper afterwards still decided it wanted to blow up. And if you watch the clip, I was really far away from it, like, and the door was shut, there was nothing, there was no reason for it to start, like, for it to blow up. Yeah, I don't know, I just thought that was a bit weird, so if anyone knows, then uh, let me know. All right, so that's all the beams that have been put in there. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place normal wood just behind here like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to come into here and then I'm just going to place the wood on top of here like that. Might be, I don't know, not like that. It needs to be on this layer so it's just slightly higher than the beams. Right, so in here I've placed all of the wood behind the beams. This is kind of the, the look we're going for, I guess. But now what I'm going to do is go over to my super smelter. Then we're going to grab all of this charcoal here. Then I'm going to turn that all into lanterns just like this. And then I'm pretty much just going to place a lantern on each one of these. And there we go, now the whole place is lit up with lanterns, it looks pretty cool. I, I don't know, does that look alright? Or I'm not 100% sure, but it should be alright. And if I destroy these, oh, hang on, it's still... Yeah, I mean, it's done a decent job at lighting up the ceiling, but not so much the floor. One right, so what I've done is I've added a load of bookshelves and then sea lanterns on the floor. The floor just looks so bare, though. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like this for now, because I ain't got a clue what else to do. I might add item frames, that might look quite cool. If anyone's got any suggestions for the floor to make it look better, then let me know and I'll do it. But yeah, now it's probably moving on to the outside of this place. But anyway, before I do that, we've got James the Camel, but I also got another comment. They asked me to call it Leon, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, I only have one camel, so I'm going to have to get another one. Right, so there we go, we've got that camel there, and the other one ran off all the way over here for some reason. So you need to come with me, yeah. I'll attach him there, and then I also got the name tag as well, Leon. So there you go, he's called Leon now. So there we go, we've got both of the camels. And I'm also going to be placing the 150 iron blocks again. So yeah, let's get on with it. There we 
There you go, so that's another 150 placed. But yeah, subscribe and you'll see how big it gets eventually. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to get on to building the outside of this now. And I think what I might do is just like the other builds, like the castle, I'll have water going all the way around. And there we go, just like that, all the water's been placed in. And I think from here, I'm going to build right out like this. Yeah, that's probably a decent distance. Yeah, and this here is going to be the front garden. And there we go, I think that's kind of the front garden. It's nothing too fancy, but oh well. And then I just need to make a pathway going from here all the way down over there. But I'm going to do a time lapse because it's going to be boring listening to me talking. And there we go, that's a path that's been built up just like that. Have a look what it looks like now. Yeah, this is actually looking really good. And obviously we've got the path that comes from here. And it's basically so that the castle now has that way going off. And it also has that way going off as well. Yeah, the castle and then this big palace. This world's coming together quite nice. And if I come from my house... Yeah, you can see it all off in the distance. So we've got the castle and that massive palace next to it. Yeah, I think that's about it for this video. So yeah, thank you for watching.